Hello, I welcome you for the video lecture of the subject chemical reaction engineering. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about what is the necessity of studying the subject chemical reaction engineering. During the discussion, it was told to you that the basic objective of this study, the subject chemical reaction engineering, is to study the kinetics of the reaction and to determine rate law expression and use the data obtained for the design of chemical reactor. Now, for studying the kinetics, the first step is to carry out the reaction. Step one in kinetic study is to carry out the reaction. Now, I hope you are able to remember our previous discussion that for carrying out any reaction we require certain reactor. So the most popular reactor which is used almost for all kinetic study is batch reactor. The reason being batch reactor is a multi-purpose reactor you can equip it with necessary utilities and the varieties of the reaction can be carried out in a batch reactor. Just to clarify the importance of batch reactor, let us consider the example of fine chemical industries or API manufacturing industries. They have the number of products list with them which can be manufactured in their premises. I mean they just manufacture as per the order of their vendors or I can say that they are into custom synthesis. So I am aware of some industry who have the recipe of various chemicals available to them. Many, many chemicals can be manufactured using the same facility. So in that case, the batch reactor provides the very important advantage. The multiple reactions, one after another, can be carried out in a batch reactor. So, to begin our discussion about how to determine the kinetics, how to determine the retro expression, we are going to focus mainly on the reaction which are carried out in a batch reactor. Now, so the first step is carry out the reaction. Step second is collect or say generate the data of concentration of reactant with time and step 3 
So basically, the meaning of interpretation of biogeographical data is to use the data obtained during the experimental investigation for determining the kinetics of the reaction.
method of analysis. Now after analyzing the kinetic data obtained after performing the experiment by using either integral method of analysis or differential method of analysis, the rate expression is determined and that rate expression is either used for a design of reactor or that rate expression after appropriate mathematical manipulation maybe its integration and further simplification we can theoretically evaluate the progress of that reaction and remember once the kinetic for a particular reaction is developed if we carry out the same reaction by maintaining same operating conditions and same standard operating procedure we will be getting the same kinetics which can be further used for a design calculation and therefore uh, the importance of this interpretation of batch reactor data is we get the rate expression and if I have worked on a certain reaction say A gives B and I have determined its kinetics and if that kinetic is presented in the form of output of my study for a particular reaction under a particular reaction conditions in a particular reactor then somebody else may use my findings if he is trying to work with that reaction further maybe for a commercial utilization maybe uh, for carrying out the same reaction in a plant scale however as we have studied earlier whenever we carry out any reaction at a commercial scale uh, the scale up is important however because of scale up uh, we may get some different output if we are not able to maintain the same mass transfer effect the same heat transfer effect as we have maintained during the lab study the result may vary However, if we ensure that the same mass transfer effect, heat transfer effect, agitation and operating conditions are maintained, then uh, we can expect the same performance even at the commercial scale also. And therefore, to summarize the today's discussion, which was basically a primer or a motivation to explain why we should study the interpretation of batch reactor data or exactly what is the meaning of interpretation of batch reactor data. So basically it is the foundation of the most fundamental study or the most fundamental part for generating the rate concentration data for a particular reaction developing kinetics and its application in the design of reactor. So, in a subsequent lectures, we will be trying to understand more about the specific methods of analysis like integral method of analysis, differential method of analysis, the advantages of integral method and some limitations of either integral method or differential methods will also be solving some problems in order to make you aware about the importance of the topic and its application in the uh, actual practice or say in an industry uh, when we decide to work on a particular project or whenever we decide to carry out a particular reaction on an industrial scale. I hope you must have understood uh, the motivation for studying this topic. Some 
insights about exactly what batch reactor data interpretation means and what is the basic protocol uh, in the kinetic study. Thank you. Thank you very much.